My take on the 3D printed aeroplanes is that it's complicated. The great advantage of the 3D printed aeroplane is that, well, yes, you can 3D print it at home without absolutely getting any kind of the special materials besides the 3D printing filament. From time to time, some glue and some uh, carbon fiber spars and, and stuff like that. So it's simple. It's very appealing because you can easily make it into any shape, of course, if you have the design. If, however, you do not have the design, then it's not really that simple and most probably doing this good old fashion with the some kind of the foam and the knife is actually a simpler way. However, the problem with the 3D printed aeroplanes is that the 3D printed aeroplanes are 3D printed and that means that they are bloody fragile. They are not really that simple to fix at, as people might think because I have 3D printed aeroplane and when I crashed my 3D printed aeroplane uh, the general like the agreement on the topic is that you only have to print what you broke however if you broke a few pieces there and a few pieces here and you have to general print the whole aeroplane it might take a full week of the printer's time so it's really 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 taking a lot of time it's simpler it's faster and it's cheaper to repair a foamy because when you have the foamy not only usually the damage will be less expensive but also it will be simpler and cheaper and faster just to fit, uh, fix the foamy with the 3d printed airplanes it's not really that obvious especially in case of the designs that use carbon fiber inside which is glued you will not remove the spar that is glued in to the filament and replace it with something else it's just not happening so i'm really like i have mixed feelings about that there are gains there are amazing things about 3d printed designs and well there is also the thing that they are usually a single crash things the foamy design has much better chances of survival than the 3d printed one and there is not really like like too much of the discussion about this even if you use more durable filaments like i don't know, i don't know polypropylene or nylon they are still pretty fragile because they will not be fragile if you put a lot of filament into that but if you put a lot of filament into that it will become heavy and not really that well flying anymore but if you have the 3D printer and you have some time and you would like to do something interesting with your 3D printed, print yourself one. It's really a good experience and uh, it gave me really a lot of fun to 3D print the design I have. Uh, let, 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 let me get it so I will tell I will show you what I have. I have something like this. It's the 3D printed Goblin from Przemek Jakubczak. I, I have a few videos about this thing, by the way. By the way, it's like super dirty <laughs> on the site uh, because it was uh, lying under the ceiling for the last uh, year or so, maybe even two years, probably shorter to one year. I, I will probably make a last flight of this thing uh, because it's basically only taking place and I'm not... Uh, flight's great, uh, very fast, quite agile, uh, but this is my second one because the first one disintegrated after the first crash and there was not really nothing to recover. Uh, no, 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 no. There was a lot of things to recover, but nothing was reusable. The only thing from the first build uh, that survived uh, was this, was the nose. Everything else just had to be printed uh, one more time. And if you break the wing anywhere, you cannot like glue this part of the wing because this is all one huge uh, four segment, no, six segment 3D print with a lot of carbon fiber inside. So 3D printed airplanes are cool, but remember that they really like inherent the biggest problem of the 3D printed designs. If they are light, they are fragile, but still kind of cool. <laughs> Flies great, crashes not so much.